Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the North 40. I'm Rick. And I'm Brittany. And on today's video, we are going to discuss two survival food ration options. These options are great for your bug out bag, hunting pack, hiking backpack, fanning pack, or just any application that you think would work for you. I'm going to discuss and review the survival tabs. These are made in Missouri. And I'm gonna discuss the SOS emergency food rations from the SOS food labs made in Florida. Have you ever gotten in the situation where you're trying to find good quality survival food for your bug out bag, your kit, car kit, whatever it may be, and you see all the options out there? It's kind of overwhelming. You got a lot of analysis to do. Calories, cost, weight, size, preparation, flavor, right? So Brittany and I have done quite a bit of work on this on various products, and so we wanted to share some of that with you today. As already introduced, these are not your dehydrated uh, meals that you have to cook or prepare, you need a container. These are compact survival rations that you can eat on the move, lightweight, very packable, as you can see, and they're obviously two different types of two different products. So we're gonna compare these two and discuss. There's a lot of other options out there. We'll talk about some of those in the future as well, but today we're highlighting these two. So one of the main factors when you're looking at investing a lot of money, because it is a lot, an investment and yeah. it is expensive to buy survival rations, dehydrated meals, backup food supply, stuff like that. One of the main factors is bang for your buck. The amount of calories you get for the for the amount of money you spend. Right. So, how do you know how many calories? So, you well, everybody has based on their their height, their weight, their gender, how um, how old they are, a basic metabolic rate of how many calories you burn doing absolutely nothing, like lying in bed, no activity. So, of course, when you're in a survival situation, you're doing a lot of activity. You're either hiking, digging, setting up things. Uh, making your food. Escaping you're, or evading. Yeah, you're doing activity. So the higher activity level, obviously the more calories you need. So Everything's laborious at that point. Right. So Rick has some statistics on just like the average male, what he would need. The average male, they use 5'10", 164 pounds. Um, 154. Or one, I'm sorry, 154. Yeah. I'm obviously, I'm like almost 220, 5'10", or 5'11". I'm looking for about 3,200 optimally, this is optimal, 3,200 calories a day because I'm anticipating being active. When I'm buying these rations, I'm going to be active. And so, a, And a lot of these rations are based on... The basic calories needed well, for just, sustainment. Just to survive, not even active. Yeah, survival, sustainment, calories. So keep that in mind when you're buying these products and doing your research. They'll try to razzle-dazzle you with numbers yeah. and stuff like... On this one here, we learned it was just basically a vitamin and um, mineral supplement. Um, whereas this this one's giving me a lot more, you know, it's actually giving you calories, calories and yeah. carbs, protein, fat. So anyway, so let me turn this over to Brittany, and she's going to go ahead and talk through the survival tabs. All right, I'm going to review the survival tabs. I bought these online on Amazon just to try them out. And it's a good thing that we did buy them in a small quantity because I did not realize that these aren't calorie dense. They're actually only 240 calories per day. So there's 24 tabs in this little bag and it says they recommend eating 12 tabs a day, um, like one an hour pretty much. These only have minimal fat, carbs, and protein in them, but mostly they're vitamins and minerals. And this says that this was created to really maintain like your mental clarity or your dexterity to help with that compared to actually survival food. Because you know you can go a few weeks without actually eating before you com your body completely shuts down. You go down. longer without food than you can water. It says it provides 100% of the daily essential vitamins and minerals. So these survival tabs do have a 25 year shelf life, which is great. So really I think about this as more like a supplement daily vitamin to your actual food that you're gonna be intaking. I don't think this would be a good option to just throw in your survival pack and call it your food ration for it. No, it's this is, yeah. a, this is a baseline, very lightweight, very packable item. Look at that. I squeeze the air out of there. Yeah. That's that's 24 tabs of sustainment for vitamins, well, minerals, mental clarity, basically, not for energy. And you can even take these out of the bag to make it just small. You can even put them in your pocket. So these might be good more for I don't like know if individually hiking. Uh, well, well, we'll find out. Yeah. It is resealable though, so I'm guessing. Um, they're not individually wrapped. Yeah, yeah I'm guessing it's not individually wrapped. 
we haven't eaten them yet and we're going to eat yeah. them in front of you and try them but so we you know this is one of the things you can learn from us because don't make them we mistake. thought they were comparable to this and i'm going to get into that so as Brittany stated these are your baseline this isn't even a real ration if you will this isn't like a dehydrated mountain house meal or backpackers pantry or an mre or something like that this is basically just vitamins and minerals to sustain cognitive and mm -hmm. muscular baseline muscular function so like dexterity dexterity so this is not enough calories uh, in either of our opinions or by the math so let's talk about what i carry in my if you haven't seen my elite gray man bug out bag video please watch it these rations are what i have in there and the reason is is it's a gray man bag non-tactical very lightweight very packable so everything in there is to be able to move and look covert, if you will. So these, these rations require no cooking. They require no food preparation, no boiling of water. We all know about power bars. We all know about granola bars and stuff like that. These are similar. They're a nutrition dense bar that's packed full of that nutrition. And we're gonna sample these today. So these rations have a five year shelf life. They're extremely small and packable. This is a 1.66 pound package. That's why I like it in my bug out bag. And it only is five inches by two inches, um, yeah. the size of it. Five by five by two. They're so, really small. oh, really small. Fits in my bug out bag, great. They say this is a 72 hour option. We just talked about the calorie requirements for the best case scenario and optimal world. These only give you 1200 calories per day. So a guy like me under dress and moving hard, you're going to be losing some weight. This yeah. will sustain you a lot better than these, and they're easy. So I can I can just tear this open, pull one of the bars. There's there's nine bars in here, three bars a day, and you can eat one of these as you're moving. Yeah, you don't it's have, easy. Yeah, you don't have to stop and hold up and have a campsite and stuff. So that is why I like this particular option for an E&E e &E style small bag option. You may want to throw that in a hunting pack. What's E&E? Escape and evade. Okay. Um, so that's this is a good option. But is this the best tasting option out there? No. Is this? I don't know. I've never tried it. Well, we're going to. <laughs> is this the most um, satisfying uh, option out there for food? No. If you haven't seen my video on the ten C's of survival preparedness that assist you in building survival kits, bug out bags, um, stuff like that. I talk about doing a mission analysis. It's based off of what your bag is for or your kit your competencies, your environment. So I choose this for a small bag, lightweight, where I don't want to stop and have to cook. Okay, so that gives you a good idea of what this is all about. We all know that everything's costing a lot more right now online in stores. Everything's gone up a few dollars or even hundreds of dollars on big ration items. So this was $8.61 on Amazon. So, they're fairly comparable in price. You can buy packages of these, not just individual sale, and they're obviously cheaper if you buy more of them, and probably the same with SOS. So, um, I say we get to tasting these. I think we should, hon, and let's go ahead and open these babies up, and let's, let's give it a try. I'm not very excited, but I'm excited because uh, I'm starving. I will say, this package does not have a zip reseal. Or did you just cut through it? No, it does not. I was okay. I was checking that out because that's a question. You mean, hey, well, if I pull a bar out of here, I've still got you know, there's nine in here. I got eight left. Um, how do I seal it up? You're just gonna have to you know seal it back like that. Put it back in your yeah. bag. Yeah. Oh, they're also sealed. Let's pull them out. Let's get. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Also, we say this often. Um, we don't know how these taste, and when if you're ever nervous to eat something or something doesn't sound good, we say, well, you're just not hungry enough yet. If you're in a survival situation and you are starving and you need calories, you will eat whatever you need to eat to survive. That's so, true. going in with the mindset of that, and hopefully it's delicious. We're gonna see. Okay, so <laughs> these are individually wrapped, so that's good. That takes they away- They don't look as bad as I thought they would look. Yeah, that takes away our issue for having to seal that potentially. And this is also a nice container to yeah, reuse, foil and uh, it looks plastic. Water, waterproof. Yeah, you save that. Um, so I've got one open. And I'm gonna take a, a, a bite of this thing and I'm gonna pass it on to Brittany for Brady. satisfaction and taste. We're gonna do one out of 10. We hope to do more survival food. We are gonna do more survival food. There's a lot out there. <laughs> and get multiple reviews Ooh. and opinions on the taste. So what does it say the flavor is? Does it have a flavor? No. This reminds me of oh. 
It's pretty good. You know what that tastes that's like? That's actually yummy. Actually, that's way better than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like all these nasty nuts and seeds and stuff. This tastes like. Not that those are bad. This tastes like a very dry sugar cookie batter. Yes, it does. That's what it tastes like, which is super good. Dry sugar cookie, and I can taste the back flavors and the coating yeah. of my tongue. I can feel the fat. It's like you got butter, a buttery coating of your throat and mouth. That is very good, and actually, that is really good. Well, very sweet. The first ingredient is sugar. Yep. And if you're curious, you one it. bar is 410 calories. So, one bar has 18 grams of fat, 53 carbohydrates, and then six grams of protein. So, good carbs, good quick, Another easy bite. carbs. <laughs> quick, easy carbs. Um, and that's what you need. Oh, you know why you taste the butter flavoring? There's a lot of shortening in here. Corn is there, syrup. So, babe, is there any ingredients on there um, that are somebody should be concerned about? Um, yeah, there is wheat flour, so if you have any gluten allergies, it's not made with the best quality ingredients, obviously, but this is really just fuel. So it's sugar, first ingredient, which, eh, you know. And then it just does have some, um, it has corn syrup, it contains mm. soy lecithin, and then it has some preservatives, obviously, because this has a five-year shelf life. So. Yeah, anytime on, your, on these survival rations that are dried with a longer shelf life, you're gonna get I'll a lot of your more. synthetic vitamins added. You're gonna get a lot of your less optimal fats and maybe some preservatives that we normally wouldn't want. But in this scenario, you're gonna it's gonna be hard to get away from that in your yeah. longer shelf life survival rations. Our next video is gonna be um, reviewing a couple dehydrated meal options. Mm -hmm. Those are a lot more tasty, that's real like real food. Um, so we're gonna talk about that. So those have some better ingredients a lot of times, but man, that was pretty good. Yeah, it's actually almost like a dessert to your meal if you get one. You want me to open that? It has a... Okay. Now is that resealable? It feels like it is, so let's see. So like I said, this is a 25 year shelf life unopened. It's gluten free, non-GMO. This is butterscotch flavored. Okay. So I don't know if you can see... You just dump them out. They're individual little tabs. Okay, they almost look like a horse pill. They almost look like a... Um, let me, cleanse, Minto. let me cleanse what, what? my palate. So those aren't bad. Let's, I'm gonna eat one of these, babies. I'm gonna pop the whole thing in. Oh, butterscotch. Mm -hmm. hmm. And I've seen online that they have, these come in like strawberry flavor. They have a lot of different flavors. So, oh wow, it gets chewy. I mean, yeah. uh, and I think battery. they really do recommend this kind of, they have pictures on the front for like cycling, running, boating, uh, rock climbing, hiking. So I don't think they intend these to be a meal replacement they no. just it's, like, it's just a supplement if you're really expending a lot of energy mm -hmm. you're sweating you're depleting vitamins electrolytes and stuff that's a, kind of what this is about those are actually very tasty i could see this being like you're running a marathon or like an obstacle race or something and you just pop it in your mouth instead of those gels well should we rate these from one yeah. to ten on flavor okay flavor for me on the survival tabs probably i'd say a six on these? Yes. I'm going to be more conservative and cut it in half in the middle, say um, not, uh, five, halfway. Um, and then what about the SOS survival ration? Um, I'd give that it one. a seven. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say six and a half, seven on those on flavor. I was, these, both of these taste better <laughs> than, I thought. than what I expected. Mm -hmm. Now, are they super satisfying food-wise, um, like a real meal? No. Based off all the cost and based off of what I would use this for, I would recommend these SOS food, yeah. uh, food rations. And I've already bought them for myself for, like I said, one of my bug out bag options. Um, these don't have the kind of shelf life, either one of these, of like a dehydrated yeah, meal. This is 25 years, there's some but stuff, only yeah. if it's unopened. I guess that is 25, but this is only five. So there's some stuff out there we'll talk about in subsequent videos that may have even better shelf life. Yeah. So. All right, that's all we have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Boom. <laughs>